reportedly obtained 10 days after the Boston Marathon bombings does not identify intended targets or explain why the government is casting such a wide net. It was the Verizon court order that got leaked, but there would clearly be court orders for other carriers. This is unbelievable. Now, if you think, well, they're not listening to the actual calls, but they know who you called. If they wanted to target someone, all they've got to do is look at all the different numbers. For example, let's say a political enemy or a reporter who's doing stories they don't like. It's not like they're beyond targeting reporters. They do it all the time, right? Uh, calls what? Their bookie. Calls uh, escort service. Calls someone to get marijuana. Anything, anything that you could possibly be doing illegal, they've got the information. This is gigantic, Big Brother. So here's more from Glenn Greenwald's article in Guardian that broke the story. The document shows for the first time that under the Obama administration, the communication records of millions of U.S. citizens are being collected indiscriminately and in bulk, regardless of whether they are suspected of any wrong wrongdoing. Remember when they used to tell us that BS about, oh, no, we're only going after terrorists. So what, now the whole country is terrorists or suspected terrorists? They continue, the order, a copy of which has been obtained by The Guardian, requires Verizon uh, on an ongoing daily basis to give the NSA information on all telephone calls in its systems, both within the U.S. and between the U.S. and other countries. You remember when they used to feed us that crap about, oh, no, no, don't worry, we're just listening to foreign calls. No, they're targeting domestic calls as well. The NSA is not supposed to target domestic calls or, or, or anything else is supposed to be an agency that looks outward. Is it? No, it's looking inward because Big Brother's coming and he's coming for you. One more from the Guardian ar article. The secret foreign intelligence surveillance court granted the order to the FBI on April 25th, giving the government unlimited authority to obtain the data for a specified three-month period on July 19th. Unlimited authority. Now, you remember this guy? This is the guy who ran for office back in 2008, promising change. Laugh along with me. This administration also puts forward a false choice between the liberties we cherish and the security we provide. I will provide our intelligence and law enforcement agencies with the tools they need to track and take out the terrorists without undermining our Constitution and our freedom. That means no more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. No more tracking citizens who do nothing more than protest a misguided war. No more ignoring the law when it is inconvenient. That is not who we are. Well, that's not who we're supposed to be, but that's exactly who Barack Obama is. That's who he is. It would change who's... Look, look, people sometimes say, oh, no, 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 you, he never promised not to spy in on you. Yes, he did. He promised it right there in the OA campaign. So, like, this is supposed to be a big faux pas and, like, oh, no, don't do it. He lied. It's not subtle. He said there will be no spying on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. He lied. There, there is spying on all of us, and we are not suspected of a crime. Barack Obama is a liar. Can I make it clear?